Look at those vines, guys. Ah! Bella, would you like some wine? Okay, guys, I am in Valle de Guadalupe, and the first stop is Venacava. I came here for the wine, but mostly I'm excited for the food. I've heard that Valle de Guadalupe, of course, produces most of the wine of Mexico, but also is famous for its delicious cuisine called Bajanet. I don't know if I can speak Spanish. I'm not even... <laughs> I fucking hate Mexico, actually. <laughs> <laughs> All the grapes. So Venecava is of course famously uh, known for its repurposed old boats right here. The owner is a sailor. Sailor. Oh, one sailor needs a boat. Yeah. And so, so he was on the ocean one day and then he was like, I need to I need, I need one. <laughs> <laughs> I need one winery. He was like, fuck all this water yeah. shit. Yeah. Where are you from? Uh, oh, yeah. Mongolia originally. Mongolia? Well, so far that? away. <laughs> yeah. So how do you keep up like if you're drinking it all day long? Uh, how do you like I just don't drink too much. Uh, <laughs> cheers. Right, For your help, <laughs> salute. Where's my eye contact? Thank you. So I've heard that in like Valle, mm -hmm. you guys have all the freedom in the world to make any type of wine, pretty much. Yeah, uh, we wine. have a lot of kinds of wine. Yeah. A lot of different grapes. Right. Uh, and you can do a so many blends, uh, mm -hmm. so you have a lot of option of wine. So you guys are just like experimenting every day? Yeah. Just, like, what other wineries would you recommend? Uh, do you want to search for natural wine, for traditional I wine? Wanna, well, I'm looking for a wine with alcohol. <laughs> ah, perfect. Uh, look, go to here. Second one. Look, and this wine is a natural. Oh. What's your name again? Jorge. Nice Jorge. to meet you. Jorge. Okay, nice Michelle, to meet you. For Jorge. Jorge. Yeah. What's your favorite variety? <laughs> Between two people, one barrel full of wine, how long? 200. 200. 200. 200. Yeah. 2000 is 2000 is so, yes! <laughs> so that's like... That's like... Uh, okay, liters? 300 liter. bottles. Let's no, do liters. 270 day, bottles. Then 200 yeah. days. 270 like, bottles. <laughs> if you drink... That means if you drink three bottles a day, 100 days, so in, entire summer you can kill it as long as you keep up three bottles a day. Jorge, what's your mom's name? Uh, Nuya. To Nuya! <laughs> you guys also make this wine for Pujol? Special wine. The wine for Pujol. Oh. Ah, it's gonna be, yes. Wow. Oh my god. My heart yeah, is beating so treat. fast. <laughs> special treat, wow. And then, my water. Oh, it's a little dry. Can I be honest with you? Yeah, 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 of course. Even if you pour the cheapest wine, if you blindfold me, I'll be like, amazing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's natural. Is you, can, <laughs> you don't understand wine. Talk to me. <laughs> you need to smell all the flavors. See? Uh -huh. Feel free to join us. Nice. We'll buy a beer. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, that is our first spot. And right now, I just all I want to do is rape the Troika truck. Try my coffee. Let's go. It is a uh, uh, Rufis, a little bit of Coke, and a splash of THT. You heard me at Rufi, baby. Yeah. <laughs> that one, you should open your eyes to. Well, okay. I know it's hard for you, but. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, garbage cheese. Fuck up. Dog shit. It is not garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I know like a lot of people just come down here to buy drugs and come up. But the reality is we go up, buy drugs and then come down. It's a lot of shit. It is one of the best things ever. Just I've heard up. actually Californian weed is pretty popular here, mm -hmm. right? Like the Los Gringos. <laughs> obviously, I've never been to, in Mongolia. I know. You've never been to Mongolia? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, obviously That's I've a never... surprise! Oh, what are you Mexico. talking about? <laughs> I feel you. I know you're from Mexico. I feel you that you're from Mexico. <laughs> I saw it. I feel that you understand us, you know? Yeah. Julio! Oh, oh, Julio's oh. mother! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
on flavor. It's, it's nothing that I've ever tried before. Let's move on. Yo, that's a proper ceviche, mate. It almost like, it looks like a shrimp filly. Mm. <laughs> it was mouth was moving. <laughs> Oh, the ceviche is everything. Right? Wow. Ceviche is fire. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so good. I've been to a lot of Asian restaurants, but they don't make it like this. <gasps> And there's a reason why they made their Wi-Fi password pork belly. Mm. Ooh, this is like an ad for Venicava with a rainbow. Yeah. Hey. 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 Are you okay? Too much wine? Oh, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Are you all over? <laughs> so we're at the Bruma Winery, and I've heard that they're. Uh, there was a known architect that structured the winery and this tree we were looking at almost only the half of it and I feel like the tree's roots you can go downstairs and look at the roots right there other view to the other side the side of this valley with the clouds and with the a little bit of rainbow with a little bit of sunlight on the hills and stuff it looks like a freaking oil painting so i thought the bar area of fauna would be open without reservations i thought oh, i'm just gonna be able to walk in but we weren't able to so i'm telling you i want you to just have a really mm, detailed plan when you come to buy the guadalupe it smells so good Woo! Primitivo! Oh, I'm so excited! So Primitivo is one of those uh, restaurants that have an outdoor setting. Uh, they call it Campestre. So you can see what's being cooked. Overall the ambiance is pretty quiet, nice and gentle, romantic. This is like super private. It gives you very, very VIP. <laughs> we have three main menus, which is the catch of the day. This time is rocket fish. Uh, we have beef menu and we have octopus. The menus are taught to share essentially for two people. In this case, you guys could easily choose uh, two menus and share a little bit of both. So all their beers are uh, referred to the seats. And oh, did you say Aguamala? Yeah, Aguamala. At the brewery in Esnada. <laughs> Why? To the most, one of the most beautiful valleys. Yes. <laughs> for our moms. For our moms. For our dads. Dad. Yeah, so for this uh, one, is we don't have the pen. This is the first course of the octopus. Uh, this is uh, Brussels sprouts, zucchini star, lime juice, mm -hmm. and the head of the octopus uh, in point to chicharron. I see Brussels sprouts. <laughs> this is the first course of the beef menu. Ooh. So sliced potatoes with garlic and rosemary and the tripe of Sorry. the beef. Tripe, tripe of the beef. Wow. Chicharron dish there. I'm not going to switch them over to the top. <laughs> it's, a, it's a sauce called uh, mojo. It's made basically of uh, ashes of uh, garlic and onions, and it has some uh, citrus vinaigrette with the kale on the side. Look at these tortillas. So fluffy. <laughs> They're really creating an experience here, huh? Every detail is important. Mm. No, the octopus torso is amazing. <laughs> this is the sweet bread with blue corn tortillas, uh, habanero sauce, a little bit of lemon, a little bit of salt. What? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> 15, 20 hours smoked meat. Guys, I think after this, we can die happy. Come film this stuff. He literally put his put his head on my lap. Look. Who wants meat? 
It's mm. a tentacles with a base of onion and garlic with a cauliflower puree. Your <laughs> Ten or one p.m. Do we stay here, have wine, or why do you have a British accent all of a sudden? Do you know do we do wine? Do you know what? When we come to Mexico, <laughs> start speaking a little British out of nowhere, <laughs> smashing it. Eh? The question is, what's happening right there? <laughs> what's happening? <laughs> the fun is right there. <laughs> Wow! Ooh. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're here! <laughs> Wait, is it like a private event? I don't know. What do we want to show? I'm slightly hungover, but very hungry. We're ready to eat Dona Stella. But while waiting for a turn, I am checking out the grounds. <coughs> Hear that? It is almost very calming sound for me. Of course, I don't want to say it reminds me of Mongolia, but it does. We had a little bit of rain last night. As you can see it's just a little uh, muddy today. Hey, you smell my doggy? You smell my doggy? Chicken swamp, you are making this. Who was hired to make it so? Who was hired to stay? I'm not so bad. All right, we're at La Cucina de Dona Estela, and this is considered to be the best breakfast spot in the world. Dona Estela had a taco stand, I think. She had a small stand, and then it just bloomed into this huge. Huge restaurant. Yeah, it's not too like. Uh -huh. It's not too new. Wow. Oh, yo. The beef is probably dry with a jerky. Mm. What the hell?
Agomala! Finally! I've heard so much about this brewery. Exactly in these orders. 